I am doing a Savage FTR rifle build. My uh, videographer is my lovely wife. She's waving her unfocused hand in front of the camera. I'm going to do this video in several parts, mostly because there's. I've just started this. I've just got all the parts in, mostly, um, but there's already issues with this build. So I'm doing this install with a Go Gauge and a AR-15 action block and a piece of leather. I have an improvised no-go gauge using a 4,000th shim that I had cut out. It fits nicely on the back. And I have a, a barrel nut wrench, Savage PTA, um, right eject, right bolt. Um, this is a 30-inch Criterion 308 barrel, bull barrel. Uh, and I got with it a precision ground barrel nut and a precision ground recoil nut. Well, I did not remove the ejector plunger, spring loader plunger, because as I found when I pushed the um, go gauge against the plunger, it actually compressed the plunger pretty easily. So I'm not really worried about feeling for tension and things like that. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the barrel nut, take my nice barrel, thread my precision barrel nut onto my barrel. Spin it all the way on. I've got some grease so I can grease the threads when it goes into the action, and then also when I tighten the barrel right down. So here is my recoil lug. It's got the little notch on this side. That side lines up here. Just like that, fits in there. So I'm going to put this on my barrel as well. Now, I can hand thread this entire barrel into the action. Let's put some grease on these threads. Basically, it's just to keep the threads from seizing over time. Nice thick on there. Alright, so tighten it a little bit. And for now, I'm going to spin the barrel nut just to keep the rope pull alive in place. And I have to remove the barrel in action from the action block so that I can put the no gauge in. Alright. So I have a go gauge in the chamber, I have my bolt, and I can see that when I push the bolt closed, it requires a little bit of force, there we go, it will close. But tighten it, about as tight as it goes, it doesn't really tighten any more on that bolt. If I tighten it, try to tighten it even more beyond that, Loosen up the barrel nut a bit. Tighten the action some more. Fine. Go back and bend. A little longer, close it on the new gauge. So, that's where I want to be. Back it out a little bit. Close it. Tighten it again. That's how far the headspace should go. Alright, so the headspace is set. I've flipped the action around. The action is now inside the action block for the AR-15. And I have my barrel wrench and torque wrench attached to it. Barrel salvage installs are barrels at 70, uh, 70 foot-pounds. A lot of people will suggest 30 foot-pounds. I'm splitting the difference at about 50 foot-pounds because that's what my wrench does. Alright, so I had to cut that bit. Um, it was messier than I thought it would look be. Um, because the hole is so close to the opening of the wrench, the, the hole for the torque wrench is so close to the opening for the barrel nut wrench, um, I couldn't really get a very good um, grasp with the torque wrench on the barrel nut wrench. So I backed it off and I put it on the other hole. It's about six inches apart. Um, so with the same torque settings, it's at about 60, probably about 60 or 70 in that ballpark, maybe 75 foot pounds. Not 75, it'd be less, it'd be about 65 foot pounds. But it's still okay, it's still less than what the manufacturer does. I'm going to get it off. So I have my shim, I have my go gauge. I'm going to take a dab of this grease so that it acts like glue. So I can glue the back of this shim onto the go gauge. Just a little bit. 
very shouldn't add very much dimension at all. Nice and stuck on there. I'm going to drop this in the chamber. Let's see if it closes. And it does not close, not even close. And that was what I was looking for. It goes about halfway down. I could probably loosen the barrel a little bit up, but the way it is now, it does close. And that is what we needed to do. All right, so that was that. All we had to do was pop in the go gauge, tighten the barrel down, uh, lock the action and recoil lug into the AR-15 action block, a little bit of leather to keep it steady, and then tighten down the barrel nut. It's tightened down to about 65-ish inch pound, uh, foot pounds. And as you can see, it closes, opens just fine. The trigger still works. It is ready to be put into a stock. But that will be a video for another day, so please like, subscribe, and comment. Leave feedback, and enjoy. Until next time.